So for a very long time, I've been watching all of these Mike Metzer videos, and I think someone who actually like trains intense, you can ask all of my friends if you if you know them. I doubt it, but you could ask all of my friends who know me that I have a very high training intensity and that I also have high volume. Um, I somehow managed to get both like in in line. I don't know how it works and how it works with my regeneration and if it's even good for my body. I don't care. I can now fully understand how intensity works, how it affects your mental health and your physical health, and how you can actually deal with it in the most healthy way. I've been doing this for about a year now, and I've seen no decreases in testosterone, no decreases in fucking, no, no fucking erectile dysfunction, which many people get out of high intensity. I'll explain in a second why. Um, but yeah, I'll just explain the, 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 the kind of concept of high intensity, high volume training. So why high intensity, high volume? You basically do this because it's fun. That's all it is. It's probably not that much effective, like in a, in a correlation, but it is more effective. You do more, you get more. That's the fucking principle. That's the fucking thing. All these people talk about, mm, do more, get more, but then they do like three sets. So what they say isn't what they what they what they do, right? So walk your fucking talk. If you if you're one of these people who believes and who truly like says shit like, oh, if you do more, you get more. Like then then do more. What the fuck? Do you not want more? So the first thing I'm gonna do is placing my camera different, so you can actually see me. It's kind of different, kind of good light. Yeah like this so first thing we're going to talk about is how you can like mentally get this first of all make a competition competition is the thing like by far that will give you the most testosterone it will give you the highest testosterone boost out, boost out of every, anything you would probably have like twice as much testosterone. Like if somebody like stands behind you firing you up and you're like right there with your opponent and shit. Like that's one of the reasons I play football because there's a very high competition and the more high testosterone moments you get, the more your body adapts to the high testosterone and the more testosterone you get in general. So make a competition between you and your training partner. Bring a training partner, absolutely. If you want high test like high intensity and high testosterone and, and everything, Get a training partner because it will do a great job of giving you more testosterone because you have more competition. It will give you more like sort of the, the, photo, the sort of mental edge that you need to to fucking flex my arms a little bit <laughs> to give you fucking to give you the drive that you need to to get the weight up. Right. Motivate yourself with your past. I do this very often where I sort of where I'm on the leg extension machine, which is the most painful you can. You can argue with it in the comments if you want to, but the leg extension by far for me is the most painful exercise that I can do. When I'm on there, I usually have headphones on, but there are some sets, like the, the three last one, I do 10 sets of leg extensions with high intensity. Trust me, it's high intensity. And the first seven sets with headphones, some some fucking funk on there, some some gym mixes, some some this music, and of course some hard stuff. And then the last three sets, I get into what I call the the motivate yourself with your past. The motivate yourself with your past mind mode. What I do then is I specifically have a couple moments in my life that push me out of some fucking reason it doesn't have, it doesn't have anything to do with my with training in general with sports like for example i think of the moment my girlfriend broke up with me every single time i literally sat there on there on her bed and thought and said like do, do you not want to be with me anymore and she said no that's it. That that's the memory for me. Probably for you, it's not as strong because you didn't live through it. But imagine your first like real girlfriend breaking up with you, and like having that during your fucking set of like extension. You can call me a psychopath. You can say all the fuck you want, but this is what motivates me like by far the most. Um, also, very very potent 
thing you, that you can do is get a nemesis. Look for the biggest guy in the gym and literally, if he does something, you are striving to become better than him. Even if you know for a fucking fact, even if he told you, oh yeah, by the way, I'm taking steroids. I don't care. I do not care. I have one guy in my gym that's 65 years old that looks like fucking better than me. There's no doubt that he's taking tests or something or some shit. But I'm still comparing myself to him and I'm still getting stronger, okay? I'm still like saying, okay, if he does 100 kg for 10 reps on the fucking bench rest, I'm gonna do fucking 105 for 12 or 15 reps. Like not 15, <laughs> to be honest, but like 10, 15, like, you know the fucking thing, right? You know it, get competition. I've just told you, okay? So talk about breath is not a tier on my fucking list. This is the moment where I talk about having healthy intensity. Intensity is told that you shouldn't have that much intensity in your workouts. You should have, but you shouldn't have it for a long time. Here's how you can train as hard as you want for as long as you want. Here's basically how to train as you want. A lot of people have talked about this, but they've never said why it's important. You get erectile dysfunction from overtraining and from fucking like from too high intensity because your body doesn't breathe like this. If you breathe like this, you won't get these fucking problems those people have like with high blood pressure. Gotta fucking scratch my back. With high blood pressure, with erectile dysfunction, which you only get because there isn't blood flowing to your dick because of your pelvic floor, okay? Pelvic floor disease or some sh or pelvic floor contraction is the muscle that holds your organs up. I've talked about this shit for a million times. Breathe out on the contraction of your muscle, okay? Just do it. That's the actionable step. I could tell you why I just did. If you don't do this, you will get erectile dysfunction. There's no way around it. And what's the use in a little bit more muscle when your dick doesn't work? when you're 20, 30, 40, even 50. Even at 50, your dick should be working perfectly, okay? Use a spotter is noted on my list. I personally don't like to bring people to me with the gym because they always slow me down. If you have like a trainer for your gym, if you can buy, if you can, if you have a lot of money, purchase a guy that goes to the gym with you that puts the weight on the rack for you that lets you like fully just just do the reps and motivating you. If you have money for that, spend it on that. That's the best expansion you're ever gonna make. I promise for the gym. There's no supplement, no drug, no steroid that can supplement for a trainer. So before you spend two grand on a cycle of TRT or more, spend one grand or three grand even for a good trainer in the gym that will spot you every single time you want him. But at least, at the very least, get a spotter for your last set and make it a drop set, okay? If you don't know what a drop set is, you basically do the heavy weight until you can't anymore. You do like fucking, for me, for me it's always like 40 kg on the fucking curl thing. You do this shit, until they like, ah, can't anymore. And then you drop the weight, you go down, like you go down to those sticks and get like a little less weight and then like half the weight or something and then you can go again. But before you do this, your spotter should push you up for a couple more reps. But talk to him how to spot you. So how to spot someone. You spot someone by just light, slightly pressing the weight. You, do, you shouldn't press it up fully unless they say, please push it up full, push it up full, push it up full. Then you should like really push it up full for them, right? But if they don't say it, you shouldn't like be like this. You should be more like, like a little thing. They, they, they should still have to be like like effort. There should be effort to going from, from this to this. You can't press it up fully for them because then you've just stolen a rep from them. It's with PRs. This is crucial. Don't touch the fucking bar, okay? If you ever spot me in the gym, if you know me, don't touch the fucking bar when I do a PR, okay? PR is everything above 120 
for fucking uh, for for bench press other PRs I don't care about it okay so make it fun this is the this is the best this is literally the best step I wrote down in my in my cute little book here make your suffering fun and the best advice I could probably give is that you should listen to fun music I listen to to Falco Nina some kind of some kind of like pop shit some not always like this gym um this shit right I listen to that okay I, I absolutely listen to that but I do it at the start of my fucking training but when I'm like already like in my fucking mind fighting my demons I'm listening to that fun music to that 80s stuff right I'm listening to that I'm I'm not like that guy who's always listening to this and who's like in their head singing like those those type of like gym hard style sort of a little bit cringe music i'm in there like having fun it's fun for me fuck this shit the guy that has fun doing a habit will always outwork the guy who's disciplined this is a fact if you're if you're disciplined and you have fun you cannot be defeated i'm the best in my gym i'm People literally ask me if I take steroids. They they genuinely do ask me if I, if I take steroids. Like now, it doesn't look as good. But if I'm like in the gym having a pump, pushing heavy weights for many sets, many reps, many volume, everything looks like I'm taking steroids because it is fun to me to train this way. It's fun. It's always been fun. I've never said, "Oh, I have to train today." Shit. Fuck. I don't want to. I've never said this since I do self-improvement. Since I do self-improvement, training is fun, honestly. How to make training fun? I just said it, music. Music is the first thing. Listen to fun music. Listen to music that you that you have fun. Well, well listen to it, that you find it a little bit funny, right? Like that you that you would laugh at. Then you could you could imagine that you made a YouTube video, like, like you, should, you could literally walk, to, th walk through the gym if you're alone and say like, oh yeah guys, today it's my fucking uh, chest day and we're gonna do five sets of heavy bench and then we're gonna do 80 sets of fucking light bench and then we're gonna beat a few people, I, you, you know the fucking, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like if you're at this point in the video, you're obviously inter interested in what I'm really like saying and if you can make it fun, and learning a skill like how to make a video that's entertaining perfect fucking perfect okay so imagine someone like filming you and you had to put it on youtube right you can do this for exercise one two three times and literally film yourself and do it but then but then you can just imagine it right i i know how to make youtube videos i just go there and say hey yeah Welcome to my welcome to my video today. We're gonna do we're gonna do some leg day and then I imagine like the music playing in the background and like usual like trend twins video but with like a little bit more fun music. What was I about to say? Music, yes. YouTube video, yes. Do something in your day that is harder. Do something harder than training. Because then your baseline is different. I play football. Football isn't that difficult physically, but mentally it's difficult. I play defensive line, okay? I have a millisecond to make a decision what the fuck I'm gonna do. Of course you have a little bit longer, maybe I have like five seconds to make a decision. And this decision like is has a pretty big dis trajectory. Like imagine getting in the wrong gap or gripping the fucking lineman like your your opponent wrong and then if someone runs into your arm breaks your elbow boom career ended forever <laughs> you have to do something that is mentally or physically harder i would say take the the physical aspect out of there and make it a mental thing make some do something that's mentally harder you could either do like self improvement or you could do a like a, a sport that is harder. Or if you're like me and you need both because you want more, so you give more, so you get more, right? I give two things. And if you only give one thing, you're going to be worse than I. I give two things that are harder. 
And then, it's tra then training is easy for me. I train for fun. I don't have to train. Do you think I have to go to the gym six days a week, two days a, two days a fuck, no, not two days a day, <laughs> two hours a day? Do you think I have to do this? I probably would be okay with doing half that, right? Probably would be okay with doing one third of that. But I want to do it because it's fun. Get to my point, make it fun, make intensity fun. If I had to summarize this video with one sentence, make intensity fun and breathe right. So, this was the video guys, I always like to like to do it a quick one, some YouTubers like say, oh, I have to make a 20 minute video now. So, if you like my channel, subscribe to it. If you would like more kind of intimate relationship, like to my advice, you can book a, a free booking call where you can book a coaching course with me. Uh, it's down in the description, top link. Have a nice day. Goodbye.